I like this better than this? This is gonna be the easiest eye makeup you've ever seen. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I have the simplest makeup look for you I think that I've ever done. There's not many steps and I'm really pleasantly surprised how everything turned out. I've tried some new products today. I have a mix of MAC, Milk, I've got the Fenty Concealer, the new formulation of the MAC Lipstick, I have a few drugstore products, and I'm just feeling so fresh and so springy. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old, professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you out. My goal with this channel is to bring together a bunch of lovely, kind, supportive women here, and we are doing it. I'm so excited about it. I couldn't be happier. I started doing live streams on Thursday nights. We just did one on Thursday. It was so much fun, and it was two hours in 20 minutes like we had fun <laughs> and I plan on doing that every Thursday for as long as everybody wants to do it hopefully everybody that's joined me here is so lovely and I feel like I have pen pals all over the world and I'm grateful so if you feel like this would be the group for you I'd love it if you'd subscribe we have an amazing community of women from all over the world and I'm thrilled and would love for you to join us and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that will alert you of other videos coming up and that's it shall we get going I have a few products to try. I actually have a lot of MAC cosmetics. I went to the store the other day, picked up a few colors of the new formulation in the MAC lipsticks. So I'm gonna show you these. While I was in there, I picked up a foundation and I'm not sure if it's gonna match me right now. It did when I was in the other day, but my self tan has faded a little bit. This is the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. So I'm gonna use this one today. MAC did send me over the strobe dewy skin tint and I used it in a live stream the other night too, but I wanna use it again. And I actually think that the two of these are gonna mesh really nice together. I also picked up a Fenty concealer. I have the brightener as well. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. Maybe I'll use both, I don't know. I know this has been all over my feed and I wanna give it a try, but I didn't know that she had a brightener and it looked really interesting to me. So I have those. I also picked up a new MAC shadow. This isn't new, but it's new to me. It's a Connect and Color eyeshadow. It's so pretty. I did play with this the other night, but I can't decide if I wanna play with those or if I wanna create a look with these. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadow pencils. We'll see how long this video takes me, and if I just wanna do a quick look, I'll use these. I may save the MAC for another video. My skin is all prepped. I just double dropped this eye. If you don't know, I'm having struggles with this eye, so if it starts dropping, know that it's something's going on with this side of the face. I put drops in it to help, and then I put some Lumify in, but you can still see it's quite irritated in there. You know, it's not sore, it's just not happy. That's all. I do wanna use the strobe dewy skin tint again. The other night I was in color three. So I've got two, three, and one. And the one I believe is gonna to have to go to my daughter. My one child that's left here is gonna get everything. The other three live outside the home. So yeah, I think the number three is gonna work. When I used this the other day, it was very dewy. I wanna play with it again. How's my lighting, you guys? Every time, every time. Yeah, I think that's better. I may have to play with it again because I have the curtain open a little bit, so we'll see. <laughs> if it changes, I'm so sorry. I want you guys to see clearly, yeah. I think you can see me now. See, low, whoa. You see how glowy that is? But you know what? It's, it's pretty. This is the side without, and that's the side with. I probably should stay away from this area. That's what I would do differently. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use it all over my face. So that was my original idea. Very, very pretty. I don't think it's too much. I wanted to use this again because the quality on our live streams aren't, it's not perfect, like this is much better quality. So that's why I wanna use it again so you can really see the details. This would be so pretty right here. Let's do it. Like right in there. Pretty. So I'm noticing I don't feel like it gets rid of my red. So I wouldn't use it to really even out my skin tone. It just really brings a nice fresh look to my face. The ingredients in here are delicious. It says it contains 78.65% skincare ingredients. So this is like your hydrating primer. Immediately even skin tone. I, I a little bit disagree on that one. Blurs and diffuses blemishes. I don't have any. Long wearing, I haven't tested it. Provides anti-pollution protection and anti-blue light protection. 74% naturally derived. 
It's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, shea butter, squalene, or squalene. I think it's squalene. It feels really nice. I also had to buy this again. They were really nice to send me the serumizer and I bought it. It's so beautiful under makeup. I didn't use it today, but so nice. So let's see if this color matches me. It's a very interesting applicator. So let's take this thing out. I think you have to unlock it. Yeah, it has a lock. Oh, there it goes. Just like that. Okay. It's got a thick consistency, but it doesn't feel really thick. Immediately, I am going to lock this thing. What brush do I want to use? I'm going to use the 106 by BK Beauty. Hopefully this will match. And, whoa, look it. I haven't had a full coverage foundation on in a while or one that covers that up. Been using a lot of skin tints and natural looking foundations. Oh my goodness. This color matches me perfect, yay. Look at that, gone. I am happy. Look at, redness gone. That looks so good. Should I turn this down even more? Whoop. I can really make sure if you can see. Without, with, pretty. Just use one pump for this side. I'm so happy with this. I should have tried it without this. I will in another video. I'll keep testing it. So if you turn it to the left, it's locked. Jeez, should I put this thing back in? I'm gonna put that back in. I just wanna keep it nice. This would be nice to travel with. It's plastic, it's very light. You don't have to worry about it breaking unless you step on it. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty concealer. I'll try the corrector another time, I think. I got this in the color 200C. I'm playing around with my colors these days. Let's just do a little bit right there and a little bit right there and there. So you see how this redness is coming down? I wanna lift that up. So I never forget the outer corners. I washed all my brushes and it's hard to find them now. Okay, so I never swipe and wipe. When I'm doing my concealer, I just press it in. This color is perfect. Yeah, and that just gave me that lift. Wow, I mean, <laughs> what can I say about that? That's really nice. I always get so up close and personal with you, but I want you to be able to see everything. That did a great job. Look at my eyes getting redder already. Do I need a bit more there? No, no, I'm good. I feel bad if I use everything MAC, so maybe I should play around with these. Let's do that. I'll make it easy. This will be more about the skin. I'm also afraid to spend too much time filming because this is gonna start getting droopier, <laughs> so maybe doing a fast eye look will be better. I got the color I Am Shining. I don't know, it's a purple. Let me see, I can't see it. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> well, I was daring. Oh, do I want to wear this today? Yeah, why not? I feel like spring is in the air because the sun is shining. This is called I Am Fearless. That feels dry. Okay, well it's pretty. It's not as creamy as what I'm used to. Like I'm used to using Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown, which glide on really easy and smooth. Maybe it just needs to be heated up a little bit.
It's pretty though. Okay. This is gonna be the easiest eye makeup you've ever seen. Just gonna blend that out. I love the color. <laughs> I'm literally gonna leave it like that. I really wish it was softer. I kind of feel like my poor little eye. But a little bit does the trick. It's not like I'm spending 20 minutes pushing it onto my eye, so that's good. I don't have this color in my collection. Not in a shadow stick, for sure. I think I'm gonna cheat it down here too, why not? Makeup doesn't have to be difficult. Look at how easy this is. Should I even bother with this one? Let's see. Maybe I'll put a little bit in here. See how it layers up. Unnecessary, but pretty. Oof, oh it pulls. A little bit there maybe. Just right there. That's it. This is worth it to me because of the color. Would I reach for it for the formula? No, but that's because I have creamier formulas. If it's not in your budget to get the higher end shadows, it's good, they're fine. I really want to get you up close for the eyebrows. I noticed the other day when I showed you the Benefit brow detailer that you could see me applying it, but you couldn't see really up close. So that's why I want to get really up close for you. So I'm just filling in, did I go high here? I want it to be a smooth line. Yeah. You guys get to see how dry my lips are when I'm this close. Okay, and this line here is old microblading, so I'm gonna clean that up. Don't ever get that done. I warn you. I can see right there, you see that? Now I'm being picky. You don't have to be that picky. But just a little bit does the trick. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty to cover this little area up right here. Or right there. Let me get something on my lips. What color am I gonna use? Velvet Teddy is too warm. I'm gonna use Mare. I always called it Myrrh. I don't know why. Yeah, that works. So this is the new formulation and when I talked to Megan at the Mac store, she said that they just made it a little bit more comfortable. So more of a satin matte versus a true matte. And I do feel the difference in the comfort. Okay, back onto my eyebrows, but I am gonna show you the difference between the original mare and this one. Don't let me forget. If I say that out loud, I won't forget. Okay, let's go back to this one. 
I've got this pointy Spock freckle right there. Look at, <laughs> what an odd place to have a freckle. Looks like I overdrew it too much. I need it just a little bit thicker here, I think. And here. And right in there. And I usually try to take this little thing away if I remember. Oh, I went too far because I don't want it to look pointy. I'm happy. This looks so good. I mean, to me. <laughs> it may not look good to anybody else, but it does to me. So this is the original mirror. This one is the new one. So it's quite a bit different. This one's definitely richer. Actually, the tones are a little bit different too, eh? I should put it on side by side. I did that in my live the other night. I had one side red and one side like a brown, taupey color. We had fun. This is old and well used, but it'll do. Okay, so definitely stinks, first of all, because it's old. I hope I don't get sick. It definitely feels like a heavier formula. It's comfortable. There's not a lot to say about those lipsticks except for I like the formula better. I am gonna touch it up with a little bit of lip liner. I'm just not sure which one yet. You know what, because my eye is acting up, I'm gonna use my tubing mascara just so that I don't have to scrub it off. Not that I do, but. I do like the tubing mascara if I have an irritated eye. You all know that I love Thrive. Let's try something different. I have these two. One is the, I've tried them both. One is the L'Oreal Panorama, and then the other one is the highly rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara from Milani. Hmm, I wish you could vote. Let's maybe do one on one eye and one on the other. Let's do the panorama on my right. Can't really remember what I thought of them. Got a tangle. You know, the more I play with it, the more it's gonna tangle, so I'm just gonna leave it. All right, this side's the Milani. This formula feels a little bit more wet. like more product is getting on there. I'm making a mess. I don't know if there's more on the brush or if it's a wetter formula, but I feel like it's weighing down my lashes more than the L'Oreal. And I don't think it's the issue with my eye being funky right now. I, I feel the weight of it.
Hmm. Get out. Okay, I'm gonna do a second coat of the panorama on my right. And let's go with the Milani again. Oof, no, I don't like this one. I mean, it's not layering well. Look at how goopy. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's weighing it down and I don't think that has anything to do with my funky eye. Yeah, no. What can I do to fix that? I'm gonna take a empty spoolie. Let's see if I can remove some product. Okay, I almost wanna take a wipe and try and get some of that off. I know that some of my friends like it, but I don't. And I remember not liking it really. I don't remember hating it this much, but I definitely don't like it. Let's get some color on my face. This color is dazed. I think that's gonna be too light for me right now. So I'm gonna use baked. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Dual Ended Fiber Brush or foundation brush, concealer brush, whatever. I just wanna tap it and make sure, yeah, oh, that foundation is so pretty. I'm so excited. Look it, it's not budging. And you can't see my hyperpigmentation marks. That makes me so happy. Oh, that's nice. Do you know where I found this? It was when I was in line at Sephora. They had a little mini, it had this and a mini of the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I bought that. And am I ever glad I did? I didn't use the primer, but I will. What blush am I gonna wear? First, I'm gonna clean up my lip line though. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury in Super Size Me. I think that will go well. I went outside the lines a little bit. I wanna do something a little bit different. I might be sorry. This is Pomelo Peach. Do you think peach will look good with this eye look? I'm not going anywhere anyway, I might as well try it. Why not? The House Labs blush are very pigmented, so I usually tap it on the back of my hand first, get it into the brush, and then ever so slightly. And I can always build it up if I want more. Sometimes if it's all the same color story, I don't know, sometimes I'm bored. Kind of Eastery. Let's check out this concealer. Amazing. That's so good. Wow. I'm really happy with this. The coverage is nice. It doesn't look like I've got makeup on. Do you think I could get you any closer? I'm gonna try to fix this stupid eye look now. Let's see, oh, you know what I should have done? I should curl it a little bit first. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting it all over my lid. Far from perfect, but you see the difference? This eyeshadow is proving to stay because I've had to clean up a couple times. Let me just clean that up a little bit more. Yeah, definitely not creamy. <laughs> Is there anything else I need? I don't think so. Oh, I haven't powdered or anything even. I haven't even powdered this. I don't feel I need to powder. I really like the way my skin looks right now. However, I will for the video. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Blur Powder for this and just a tiny, tiny bit, just tapping it into my brush. And let's go right in there. It does look good. I still don't think I needed it. Like if you have a dry under eye, don't bother with that. Unless you really feel like you need it. Get in there. Yeah, it does look nice. Because I can see all the texture in my lips, I feel like adding a touch of something. Of course, I am zoomed in so tight, but this doesn't feel dry at all, so I'm not doing it for that reason. But I do feel like a little something would be nice. That does mean that it won't last quite as long, though, if I put something over it. Just a touch. I have texture, there's no way around that. It does make me feel better when I have a little something there. Okay, let me zoom you out. I don't know how long I've been sitting here, but I feel like that was really fast. Very easy makeup look to do. I'm so happy with this foundation. It's gorgeous. Feels nice on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It covered, yes. I can't say enough good things about it. The color match is perfect. I don't know which one I like better. If you were to ask me right this second, I would say I like this one better. But I like that one a lot. I don't know, that just feels so good. And the strobe dewy skin tint sat perfectly underneath it. Gorgeous. My skin doesn't feel heavy. My skin looks like skin. Love it. The Fenty concealer is a winner. The milk is a winner. The mascara is good. The only negative thing I would say is I don't like the Milani tubing mascara. And this does feel a little bit dry, like it's a little tuggy on my eye. It's definitely gonna stay for sure. So I hope this helps everyone. Let me know if it did. As always, I'm gonna leave all the products that I used in the description box for you. I do provide Canadian and American links for you. Before you leave, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.